Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have an ASUS computer here with me, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix the following problem. If you're on your computer and it seems to be working and you're doing something, and then it just powers down and restarts. I'm going to show you how to get in here, find out what's going on, and find out how to fix it. Um, if your computer is restarting during startup, um, that's a different problem. If you're starting your computer and it's shutting down and restarting before you see that startup logo, uh, that's video one in the description. Uh, that'll be a link to a My Computer Won't Turn On Fix. If your computer is restarting after that logo screen um, when you're starting up, that's video number two. That's a boot loop fix video. Uh, this is just if your computer restarts while you're using it. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is get into your files and try to find out what's going on at the time that it's restarting. So the way that you would get in here is to go down to the bottom of your screen and click on the manila envelope icon, the file explorer. We'll open that up. Over to the left, under this PC, right click. Come down to manage. On the left hand side up top, it says event viewer. So click on the drop down arrow. Then we're going to come down to windows logs, drop down that menu as well. Then we're going to come down to system, double click on that. Now this list that populates, don't freak out if you see a lot of errors. Uh, they'll be in red or a lot of warnings. Um, in a normal computer function, errors happen all the time and they're usually auto corrected and you never notice. Uh, we're going to be looking for the error that coincides with the date and time that your computer shut off and restarted. That's what we're going to look for. So we're going to scroll down through this list to find that error. Now this computer, I just installed Windows on this a little while ago for the sake of these videos. So there's not going to be a lot of errors. So let's grab one of these warnings and pretend that it's an error. So you're going to grab one of the warnings and then down here, if you'll notice, let me expand that for you. Once you click on a warning, down here it'll give you a detail of that warning. It'll give you a general detailed description of what's going on. And if that's clear, then you know what your problem is. If it's something clear like sudden power loss or battery failure or CPU failure, something like that, if it's clear, then you know what your problem is. But if it's not clear, like something large and garbly gooky like this, then I'll show you how to figure it out. Down here it says event ID with an ID number. In our case it's 116. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go open a browser and I'm going to search for that. Event ID Okay, so this is a, a support Microsoft.com. This is what we want from Microsoft. Uh, event ID 116, that's the exact event ID we want. So we'll click on that. Okay, so first, Microsoft's uh, support will give us the symptoms of this. Again, we only grabbed a warning because we didn't have any errors, but you would grab your error event ID. It would give you the symptoms of this warning. One of them could possibly be restarting. Then we're going to go down here, cause, kind of important, workaround. This is what we're looking for here, uh, is, is how to stop this from happening. Whatever caused your computer to restart, we're looking for the workaround uh, to that event ID uh, that caused your computer to restart. So to give you an idea of a situation that I've seen where this has come in helpful is that I had a computer that shut down seemingly for no reason. I went in here, I grabbed the event ID, I looked it up on Microsoft, and it said that my computer, my CPU was being starved of power because I had recently upgraded my RAM to a high performance RAM. And the workaround it gave me for that is to either undo the upgrade and put the old RAM back, or it told me to set my CPU to low power mode, which I weighed the options and I decided to do that so I could keep my RAM upgrade, and then it never shut down on me again. So this is how you can find out what's going on, why it's happening, and then how to fix it. So if this was helpful, if this helped you out with your problem, uh, like and share. Um, if you have any questions or, or if you got lost a little bit or you couldn't find your event ID, um, send me a message. I'll try to help you out. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.